What is up guys, my name is Andrew, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, we've repaired the mole, which I'm still not sure what the name is. A lot of you guys gave some really good suggestions in the comments, so very good job on that for all those suggestions. But we haven't come up with one quite yet. Maybe next episode I'll go through all of them, and then find like the best one, and then plaster it on the side of this thing. Oops. Oh shoot. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god. What happened? What did I just do? I turned off dampeners. We just fixed this thing too! Hang on, let's do a real quick inspection. I accidentally clicked Alt-Z with my thumb when I was trying to click something else. And I, so Alt-Z is my uh, button for um, for something else, GeForce Experience. But it's also the button to turn off dampeners, which is annoying. But I think we haven't, we haven't taken any major damages. You guys are looking good, even though you're like in the ground right now. But that, I think that's probably fine. No major damages. I don't see any fire like we had before, so I think that's good. Uh, the ship's pretty forgiving sometimes when it comes to uh, just crashing into random stuff. That's turned off right now. We lost a bit of our uranium um, uh, to that, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, but let's do a little bit more work on this. I want to see if we can get a lot of this uh, floor built out and also a lot of these uh, these walls here uh, built out as well. And, I, you know, I thought of a really cool idea. And actually, I think this came from a comment as well. Um but someone in the comments said that maybe we could have like a control tower somewhere that like rotates slowly or something like that. And it'd be like a like a control tower that you'd find at an airport and it would look really cool. Lots of glass looking like that kind of. Uh, and I was thinking, why don't we have it like kind of right next to this thing, like right over here. We could have like a big corner control tower or something and it would be really tall and stuff. Or maybe we could even have it over here where the mountain is since it's already really tall. I don't know. I, th I think it's a good idea to have something that you could like go in and you could like just see the entire area. Maybe like... If you think about it like this tall, which is super tall actually, but if we had it like this tall, you know, you'd be able to see the entire base from here. Uh, you'd be able to see the entire uh, valley, I guess you could. Is, is it a valley on the moon or is there a different, a crater maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's a crater or a valley, but you'd be able to see the entire area from the top of this thing. Now, if it were this tall over here, that would be pretty cool as well. The only problem is that then we might have ships running into it, but I mean, we could we could drive around it. We're, we're good drivers. We've never crashed a ship before, ever. Don't worry. Never crashed a ship in recent history. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get to work on this. I want to first go get some steel plates because I don't think we have any in our inventory. So let's go and grab some. Uh, I do kind of really like this right here. I know at one, at one point I was planning to move these back a little bit so I could close this off and make it a little garage. But since we're also making this giant hangar, I think we don't have to do that. We can just keep it like it is right now. So let's go and grab a bunch of steel plates, like a crap load of them. We'll put those back. We'll put this back as well. And uh, 600 should be fine. And let's start working. I love this thing. I just haven't used it at all. But I, I, I love it. And it, it works really well. Uh, except for that time that it didn't. But <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten the chance to use it very much, have we? Um, for this... Okay, so this is the ground level. It's up about one. Now, since we have to go down anyway, I might destroy this and go down one more so that it's level with the ground. Is that a good idea? That might be a good idea. I think we might do that. Um, so that we don't have to actually go down quite as much like we have right here. Uh, let's let yeah, let's do that. I like that. Uh, so we're gonna destroy this right here We're gonna go down about one more um, And I just got a lot of steel plates So I hope we don't end up with a full inventory here, but we're gonna have to do a little bit of mining as well So should we immediately just go get the big miner not the big miner, but the the decently Medium-sized miner. Let's let's do that We'll grab this baby right here turn it on and we can do a little bit of mining right here It's pro probably also going to accidentally destroy a little bit of our foundation, but I think that's gonna be fine uh, so let's just kind of come in like this, and we'll just we'll just do some right-click mining here. We can't see anything, so let's go into third person. De Havaneta will harvest. Is that the worst Arnold accent you've ever heard? <laughs> I get the award for the the worst Arnold. Yeah, we will harvest materials. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> oh my God. How bad can an Arnold accent be? Okay. Let's go in right here. We're just going to kind of sideways around to make sure we're kind of level. Well, we're not at all level, actually. Now, we might break a, a couple of these blocks, but that's okay. They're kind of cheap, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's be careful we don't hit the side there. And awesome. Let's come back this way, get a little bit done over here. And that's looking good. Okay, let's do a little bit back here as well because we do want to level this area out because this will eventually be all uh, blocks. So we won't have any mountain over here. Which I don't really know. I don't. I don't really know how I'm gonna like that aesthetic. I mean, originally I liked the idea of having a little bit of the moon still showing, 
so that it was clear that we're on the moon, but I don't know. I think it'll be fine. Okay, let's get this area over here as well. Right there. There we go. Okay. I think that might be good. Let's, uh, well, we can actually keep this thing kind of right here since we might end up using it in the future. So we'll park it right about here. Turn it off. There we go. See what I mean? It's kind of forgiving about, like, crashing into stuff. And I think it's because of these things, but I don't know. Uh, all right. We have a nice little area to build here, I think. So let's, uh, real quick, fix up some of these blocks that may have gotten a little bit damaged. Actually, it doesn't look like anything got damaged. Did they change something? Because I thought, I thought drills used to always damage these blocks. And we went right up against this without damaging anything. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, okay, so we're going to go right here. Oops. Get the right block out. There we go. We're going to go right there, and that's going to be our ground level because it kind of uh, matches with that. Same thing over here. And there we go. Now let's destroy these right here because we're not going to need them. So destroy you. Man. Do you guys, here's a question. Anyone out there very computer savvy and know how to disable the caps lock key uh, such that you can still use it in games, but it doesn't like actually uppercase everything anymore. So it, do you know how to disable the functionality of caps lock, but keep the ability to press it as a key? Now I know there's a way to actually just disable the caps lock entirely. And then there's also a way to remap the caps lock to a different key. So that when you press caps lock, it's like you're pressing, you know, the one button or something which would be way more helpful than it is currently but uh i don't know the, I, I don't like it because it's used a lot in games in space engineers a lot of you might not have known this but uh, see how i'm jogging right now the cap slot key actually makes it so that i can walk which is how we get such shots as this where you can like walk really slowly you can run really slowly caps lock does that so it, it, it's a pretty important key um but it also makes everything cap uh, capital or lowercase which is super annoying um, so, I hardly ever use caps lock for its real intention, which is locking the caps. <laughs> I, I, in fact, I never do. I don't think I've ever, well, I'm sure I've used it once or twice, but I'm, I don't think I've ever, like, gotten used to using that. I always just press shift. Like, I'll hold shift for a full sentence if I want to type out all caps. I'm not going to press caps lock and then f risk forgetting about it one day, and then, you know, now I'm typing in all caps, and I sound aggressive or something. I, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the ability to do that. It's just not a helpful key for me. Neither is numlock, but numlock doesn't actually have annoying problems since I don't use the numpad. A lot of people use that, the uh, the little number pad on the side that laptops usually don't have, but desktop keyboards do. A lot of people use that instead of the numbers up top. I don't know why, but I, I've i never gotten into that. It's weird. What do you guys use? Do you use the numpad? Do you use the, uh, the keys at the top? Do you use caps lock? Do you use shift? I should do a poll. We'll see how many people hate caps lock like I do. Like with a passion. With a burning passion to destroy caps lock and eradicate it from the world. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's do this. I think it's going to be fine if... So the original idea was I was going to start the ramp a little earlier. But I think it's going to be fine if we keep the ramp where it is. And we just kind of have this nice little uh, grace area. Where you enter the area but you're not quite going down the ramp quite yet. I think that'll be fine. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Let's... Close that up, and we'll close this up as well. We'll probably end up doing something with this right here. I don't quite know what, but I think this looks a lot nicer, and it's, it'll be a lot easier to drive a car in here. Uh, real quick, let's do this as well. Is that the right way? Yeah. I think I really need to get someone who's good with paint as well. Not Microsoft Paint, but like painting in this game. I need to find someone who's really good with paint and like import them here to have them like pimp my pimp my base. <laughs> like, could you imagine? There should be a show called Pimp My Base, where you just get, like, a space engineer's base, and your goal is to, like, renovate it. <laughs> I could see that. Should we do that? Should that be a series on the channel, Pimp My Base? Like, you guys send me a bland base like this, and Pimp My Base! And, like, I'm like, you know, I really wanted to go with a wooden exterior right here, because I thought it would look nice, but I, I ended up going with vinyl, because, I don't know. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. So there's got to be a channel out there that's done that. Pro actually, probably not. That's kind of an obscure idea. Uh, and actually, this is way taller than I thought it was. I just got slight vertigo by jumping off of this. Look at that. That is really tall. Um, 
Okay, so we kind of got the entrance done. We do need to do the, the doors, but I'm going to have to look a little bit more into that because I think we're, we're going to have to do something weird for the doors. Uh, like probably get a mod that allows for taller doors or something like that. So I'll have to look a little bit more into that, but for now that's going to look good. Uh, let's go ahead and work on this a little bit as well. So we've got the most of the ramp here, but one of the features that I wanted with the ramp thing is I wanted the ability to kind of go down to the, to the level below you. So how are we going to do that? And it's, it's going to be a walkway as well, not a... Not like a uh, not like a place where a car could go up like that. So we could use ladders, and by ladders I mean like this weird thing, uh, this like that. We could do that. That might not be a bad idea. In fact, I kind of like that because if we use the other one, it's gonna go way out here, and it's gonna it's gonna be like right here before you actually get to the level, which is gonna look super weird. But if we use ladders, we can just do it right here. And I think we need interior plates, so we can't actually do that right now, but. Uh, but yeah, let me go grab some interior plates and then we'll see if we can place that. How about we do it one way on each side and then we'll see which one looks better. Interior plates, grab me 120 of those. I'm completely full of inventory uh, now, by the way. But let's do, we'll do this. So that's one. Then we'll do one right there. And... I mean, this looks this looks pretty nice. In a real place, I'd probably like like the uh, stairs instead of the ladder, just because the stairs are not as easy to fall, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm slightly afraid of heights. So, I mean, of course, you know, I'm slightly afraid of heights. I just got slight vertigo off of that. So, yeah. How does that look? Does that look bad? I mean, like we'll 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 do something with this so it doesn't look as bad. But like, let me let's see the functionality. So you're down here. You want to climb all the way up. Boom. Yeah, that's not that bad. Well, let's try the other way. See which one looks better. So, we'll flip this this way right here. And I should really... You know what? Here, here's what, here's what we're going to do. Uh, G, we're going to get a standard block right here. So, we don't have to keep flipping back and forth. Because that's annoying. Put that one right there. You just got to get into the motion. Once you get into the motion, you got it. Four, three, four... is super long but does it look good okay what do you guys think number one where you just kind of go straight up like that or number two where you kind of go like up the long way hmm which one looks better you know what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave this for you guys in the comments tell me which one do you like better this one is this one looks a bit derpy well it doesn't really look derpy i guess it just looks kind of short which is fine i mean it's it's definitely functional so you get on it and you can you can climb to the top with relative ease it takes a very short amount of time uh but at the same time the look of it is kind of like it looks like it's very like a sheer cliff face kind of but i mean that, i mean it saves space so that's there, there's definitely pluses to this now this one on the other hand looks a bit more normal and if we wanted to go this way we could probably wrap it around as well as like a double like a down down kind of thing so it looked like a like a uh, actual staircase. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about this one. This one looks... See, it, it, it's longer, so you don't have as much space. I mean, you have more space. You use more space, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, what one do you guys think sh we should use in the comments? In the next episode, I will uh, convert the other side to that so that we have both of them set up. And then we'll also kind of uh, work on the bottom over here to make that work as well. Uh, okay, let's do a little bit of work on this. Should we go time-lapse mode for this? Eh, why not? It's going to be a long... It's gonna be a long play, so let's go time lapse mode. Three, two, one, time lapse.
welcome back. I have, for the most part, completed the entire floor on both sides. Uh, so we've got... Oops, I've fallen in a little hole, a little gap. <laughs> so we've completed most of this entire floor, and we're going to let the nanites run through and complete it. But uh, for now, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're, we should be able to... I mean, we could probably drive the above mobile around if we wanted to, all the way around here and everything. Uh, but it's definitely giving us a good idea of, of kind of where we want things to go. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about where we want this wall, this far wall to be, because over here, we're kind of coming up right on the wall here. So we might just want to bring it up maybe like right here on this side so this would be the far wall of that i'm not sure um but we'll we'll, we'll figure that out next episode uh when we want to work on that let's start work on that little control tower that i wanted and i think i've kind of decided i want it over there even though it, it's more of a risk of us crashing into it's kind of more realistic for it to be kind of in the center of everything well do i want it over there hmm i think maybe yeah i think we will put hmm Hang on, hang on. Pros and cons, pros and cons. So on this side, the pros, it's in the center of the base. It looks really cool because it kind of stands out. It's like the centerpiece of the of the entire base. So it looks super awesome. Um, the cons, we can run into it potentially. And also it might block a sight line or something. I don't think it would be that bad if it blocked a sight line because it would kind of increase the sight lines, I think. Uh, the the pros of it being up there is that it's out of the way. We don't really have to worry about it. We can also see the entire area. The cons of it being up there are... That it's not that I don't know. Maybe we'll do it up there. Let's do it up there. And then if we want to add another control tower, we could add one. How about that? So let me make sure I have enough steel plates for this expedition. I probably want at least 300 steel plates here. This is Sparta. There's uh, 200. Let's see if we can find more. Steel plates. That's in the cockpit. Uh, anyone have any steel plates for me? The na See, the nanites are hogging them all, which is fine because I mean, they're building for us and stuff, but still. Steel plates. There we go. Uh, there's uh, 300. There's 400 even. 400 steel plates. Okay. So the way... And how many uh, other things do we have? 96 interior plates. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to put it kind of out far away a little bit. So we're going to first... And eventually we'll kind of... Well, actually... Ooh, here's another idea. What if this is how you get to that control tower? Like, it's going to be up there, and this is the main way to get to it. I don't mind that. That That's pretty That's pretty good, I think. I think that would be kind of cool. Or we'll have the control tower right up here. How about? So it'll, be, it'll start, like, right up here, and it'll go straight up to about... I want to say this height. Well, this is super tall. Maybe, maybe a little lower. Maybe it'll just go to, like, right here, where you can see everything... Well, then again, we want the walls to this thing to be kind of large as well, because our big red is going to be right there. So we'll, we'll just kind of start it and plant the foundation. Let's uh, do a little bit of mining here, because we want to get this stuff out of here so we can get some blocks in here. We're not going to make the whole walkway to it yet, but we do want to get some blocks kind of in the area. Okay, so this is our this is our entrance thing right here. So we can use this block right here as the uh, start. So go up from there. And we will eventually remove these, I guess, and add some other stuff. There we go. And we'll do it on this side as well. And right there. There we go. So we're going to actually... Let's let's not use these ones. So let's keep like a, an area in the middle free, just because we want a door here eventually. We're going to do something like this. Oops. We'll remove these. Uh, mine out a little bit right here, because I, I want to make sure that connection is good right there as well. One of my biggest fears is losing, like, accidentally separating two grids. And I think as, as long as everything's kind of connected to the mountain, it wouldn't really matter if I if I separated the grids. But I'm always afraid of... Because uh, if you separate two grids, it's a big problem. You, you can lose stuff. So we're going to do the control tower kind of in this area over here. Let's go out a little bit this way. We can also assume that this will be kind of where the wall is as well. I like this area right here for it kind of yeah i think that's not a bad area right there so we'll put it we'll, we'll make this the foundation for it and we'll have to do a little bit of mining as well to make make sure that it's big enough how big do we want it to be i don't really know uh probably well we know we want it to have stairs on the inside so let's let's just start building and then we'll build the outside as as we need it how about that which is really how we should be building everything like ships especially like, remember Big Red? I built, I pretty much built the outside, then built the inside. Uh, where I should have actually built the inside, then built the outside, so that I knew how big I needed it. There's four. And let's let's go one more on this side right here. 
Come on. There we go. Mining down is sometimes annoying. You have to crouch a little bit if you want to get it to work. And it's, if, even then, it doesn't work all the time. Okay, there we go. And there we go. There we go. And there we go. There's our foundation for our thing. So what we're going to have first, as you get into the area, is we're going to have a stairway going up. And we're going to be using the, uh, the ladder technique, definitely, here. Because we do want to kind of consolidate space. Well, at the same time, we could use this. This wouldn't be that bad. We have some room. We could do this. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad, actually. Let's do it. So we have one right here. We're going to have a little walkway area. So four. We're going to turn around this way. Then we're going to have that. Then this way. Yeah, okay. I think it's coming along. Okay, so we're going to have something like this. Then we're going to turn. We're going to go up one right here. Then we're going to turn again. Then we're up here, and we're going to have to have a level up there, so let's get ourselves a nice little level. There we go. Okay, so we're going to turn here again, and we'll just keep doing this, kind of like a lighthouse. If you guys have ever been in a lighthouse. All right, so let's see how high we are. Come to the top, and a whole new world. I think it's high enough. I think for now that's high enough. We can build it a little bit higher if we decide to. In fact, uh, what do you guys think as well? You know, I've already asked you what you think of something, which is that down there. But what do you think of this as well? Do we need to build it higher or do we like the height? Or do you think lower probably? I, I think I think, I think, think the height's probably pretty fine here. That's a decent sized control tower. It's going to take a long time to get to the top. Let's let's time it. All right, start timer now. Dun, 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 for now, and I think this might be the only way to actually implement a rotating control tower. We're going to do something like this. We're going to bring... Where's the midpoint of our tower going to be? See, I, I didn't actually plan for this. If I did, we'd have actually three by three in here so that we could have one middle block. So I'm not entirely sure where our, our midpoint is going to be for the rotating tower. Let's just fly all the way back up and we'll, we'll, we'll do something here. So right here, we're going to actually do this. Or we'll do that a little bit lower, actually. Energy low. Our energy is low. Oh, no. So we'll do that. And then we're going to put a rotor somewhere. Probably there, I'm thinking. And that will be what we're going to call the midpoint of our tower. Even though it's not going to be exactly kind of straight. But that'll be the midpoint. So let's, let's get a rotor out here. Uh, and last time we used rotors, it didn't really go very well. But I think this time it's going to be fine. We're going to put a rotor right there, and then we're going to start building the uh, the rest of the tower on here. So, uh, how's that going to how's that going to look? Um, well, the, the tower is going to have a mid block. We're going to call this our middle block. And that's going to go to the top. Which is going to be, like, roughly that height, maybe. I don't know. It might be two-story. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be roughly, like, up there. And this is going to be, this this right here, we're, we'll, we'll build this out next episode a little bit more. Um, but this is going to be the the wall, which is going to go to this height. So the wall is going to come up to here, and then from here on, the rotor is going to take place. So the rotor is going to be supporting everything uh, from here on. So because the rotor actually makes a separate kind of uh, grid. So this is going to be the end of this grid, which right there. At roughly this height. There we go. Um, so once you're here... We want to make sure we're going to be even on all sides so it doesn't rotate weirdly. Uh, so I think what we're going to do then is we're going to use these, um, if we go to G and we go to cat, is it called catwalk? Yeah, we're going to be using these catwalk pieces uh, as the ground. Like this. And this will allow us to rotate pretty easily. So we're, we're three blocks on this side. We need to be roughly three blocks on each side. Actually, this, this one is not going to work. Oh, how are we going to... Oh, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll just not do... Yeah, we'll have to do something like this, where 
uh, where our catwalk yeah, it goes like that. So it gives us enough space to kind of climb up if we need to. It's already rotating, and I think that's because uh, because it's a little bit weirdly balanced. But yeah, there we go. Okay. Do the same thing right here. So bring this out roughly three. I like this little this little rotate. It's giving us a nice simulation of what it's gonna look like at the end. Right, and this last corner over here we're still running out of energy but I think we're gonna be good uh, that's gonna be fine so let's do a real quick test we have that still rolling uh, can I can I manually turn it Ugh. Ugh. no I don't think I can well I want to do a manual test real quick or a test to see if I can actually get up here while it's turning now this this whole thing is gonna be turning really slowly uh, can we do like a control panel up here can there be can there be something that allows me to use that? Or do I have to climb all the way down and go to, like, over here? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have to go so far. Okay, let's press K. We're going to go to our, uh, what's it called? A rotor? It's not an advanced rotor, is it? Our rotor. It's going to be this one. So this is going to be the rotor control tower. And we're going to rotate this at a very slow speed here. We're going to rotate this at the speed of that. And see how fast that is. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. Okay, so say we're coming up the tower. Oh, no, it's blocked. Oh, we're just going to have to wait a few seconds then, aren't we? There we go. Okay, so you can get up there as long as you wait. Let's put down one of these things. A, uh, I forget what it's called. A control panel? Yeah, one of these things. That's going to allow us to uh, actually uh, edit this thing while we're here. I don't, I don't think I can build it right here, but the nanites are going to come in and build that for us. Now, what we want to do real, right, right here real quick is we want to lower this just a wee bit uh, so that we don't have as much of a gap right there because that does look a bit weird. But we're also going to do some stuff on the... Oh, God. <laughs> we're also going to do... Some, we're we're going we're gonna to bring this out a little bit more and then we'll, um, we'll mess with the... Uh, the others like we'll make it look better there we go control panels done we're gonna look for our uh, rotor oh god we're being moved there we go oh my god that actually was very scary okay we're gonna change the rotor displacement down just a little bit energy low that should be roughly is that is it still moving? No, it's not moving anymore. Uh, we'll bring it back up a little bit. Okay, now it's still moving and it's got way less of a gap. I like that. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to leave that there with our nice little control tower. It's it's rotating very slowly, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, and then next episode, we're going to do a little bit of work on this nice, uh, the, the, the stairway. So we're going to make it look a little bit nicer and not just like a weird spiral. And then we'll also do a little bit of work on this control tower, making it look um, more like a control tower and less like just a rotating plane. Um, but anyways, what do you guys think of everything we've done today? The control tower, the thing right here, the fixing of the mole. What do you guys think? Could we have done anything better? Could we have done anything worse? Well, we certainly could have done stuff worse. But anyways, if you guys liked the episode, hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions, especially about this right here and also about that right there, uh, down in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.